If you're connecting your process TU53 or 5400 SC turbinimeter to an existing controller, make sure the controller has been turned off before connecting the 1.6 meter or 5.25 foot sensor cable. Go ahead and cycle power. And the SC1000 in this case will automatically search for new devices. Notice on the front of the TU5400 process turbinimeter that the green light indicates that the device has received power from the controller and the instrument will automatically start to remove humidity from the measuring compartment using the onboard pump and the desiccant cartridge we installed earlier. The maximum distance between the controller and the sensor is 164 feet or 50 meters. So if you need longer cable length, we have a variety of different digital extension cables available from Hawk.com. The TU5400 SC has been found and discovered by the SC1000. And now that the check mark is green, we can go ahead and press the check mark, and the controller will just take a few moments to finish the communication with the sensor, and our screen should go blue and indicate our turbidity value. This is sort of a meaningless number at this point because we don't have sample flowing yet. This SC1000 is equipped with a RTC prognosis card, so we'll take a minute or two to get the prognosis monitoring our new TU5400 sensor. We press the main menu, press the RTC modules with prognosis, go into RTC modules, make sure that the mode is set for prognosis, and we can configure by selecting the TU5400 sensor. To start, we press this down arrow key and we select the TU5400 process turbidimeter as the device to monitor. If that completes this, we press the check mark. Back out of this screen. We'll make sure our date and time is correct. And that should do it. The measurement quality bar on the top shows that the TU5400 is at 100%, and the next maintenance item is scheduled in 178 days.